Incan villager rush is horrifying. Whether it's MBL getting rushed by Lix, or one of us getting attacked in our own games, there are few things as scary as seeing that forward blacksmith pop up right next to their towers. The Inca, of course, have a civilization bonus that their villagers benefit from the infantry blacksmith upgrades. But that got me wondering, what happens if these villagers are converted? Do they still keep their upgrades? Let's try it out. Here are some Inca villagers, and let's research scale mail armor for extra defense. Now we'll take control of the Byzantine player and convert a villager. The conversion comes in and... Great, she keeps her stats. I'm sure that extra armor will help to keep her safe. So, let's assign her to Hunterpore. But what's this? Now she doesn't have that extra armor anymore. What happened? Well, every time we assign a villager to a different task, they are swapped out for a different type of villager, including hunters, lumberjacks, builders, and so on. Each of these villagers is represented by a separate unit, and when the units get swapped, they're replaced with the unit from that player's civilization. This substitution allows the game to replace the villager's graphics, abilities, and stats. So even though our Incan villager has blacksmith upgrades when she's converted and then swapped for a villager from another player, she gets reset to whatever upgrades that player has. And what happens if the Incas convert a villager from another civilization? Let's ask this monk over here. He'll convert this Byzantine villager and, just like before, its stats don't change. But then we'll reassign him to mine some gold, and there we are. He's now gained the Inca blacksmith upgrades. We even can research a few more upgrades, and he'll receive them since he's already changed his task. And further, this phenomenon isn't unique to Incan villagers. If we're going for an arena monk rush and don't research loom, what happens if our opponent does research loom? If we convert one of their villagers, then the same thing happens. They retain loom as long as they are the same type of villager. But if they switch tasks, then they lose loom and become just like our other villagers. If we are defending a monk rush and have loom, perhaps it is useful to switch the villager's task to something the monk rusher doesn't need. Perhaps we could right-click the villager on one of their units to attack before attempting to run away. And that way we don't leave the villager as a builder who is harder for us subsequently to stop from constructing additional forward buildings. And most other upgrades and bonuses work the same way. The economic upgrades that affect villagers, such as wheelbarrow and double bit axe, the civilization bonuses such as the Burbo movement speed, and other technologies such as sappers and supremacy, all change when the villager switches tasks. One exception is the Spanish construction speed bonus, which affects a civilization attribute instead of a villager unit or the civilian class. That bonus is shared only for Spanish villagers and not for other civs, regardless of the villager's task. If we convert a supremacy villager and want them to continue fighting, we need to be careful not accidentally to right-click a tree or otherwise retask them. We need to keep them as villagers so they don't lose their stats while in combat. Anyway, that's it for now. Thank you all very much for watching. Extra thanks to everyone supporting me on Patreon, and I'll see you next time. Okay, right after I finished editing this video, I played a game where I got castle dropped. Here are two villagers walled in together. I convert one, but then I lose the vill fight because I have to change the vill from a builder to a villager, and I lose the loom upgrade that my opponent has. 